Today's lesson is about the application of phrases and links type 8. I am Oakleaf Music and if you're just joining us, I need you to head over to our previous videos where we've treated the introduction and application of phrases and links type 1, type 2, type 3, type 4, type 5, type 6, type 7 and also the introduction to type 8 because all those videos will lead you to this very moment where we're about to treat the application of phrases and links type 8. Now without wasting your time, let's head over to this application. For this channel, we will be teaching you using only the tonic sofa notation. I'll repeat that again, the tonic sofa notation. So before we head over to this application, I need you to take note of this very important information so that that way, when you hear stuff like do re mi fa so la ti do ti la so fa mi re do you don't get confused because all we are doing all we are trying to do is make saxophone playing really easy and understandable for every saxophonist out there that don't understand stuff like the number system Here you have one two three flat 13 flat nine and all that or for saxophonists that don't understand the alphabet system Alphabet system where you go A, B, D sharp, E flat, A sharp, and all that. All for saxophonists out there that don't understand the sheet music or the staff notation. So that that way, every saxophonist out there will be able to play and also understand what the saxophone. For clarity's sake, we will be using the key of C on the alto saxophone. And key C is your D sharp or E flat concert. I'll repeat that again. For clarity's sake, we will be using the key of C on the alto saxophone and that's your D sharp or E flat concert. The reason we are saying D sharp or E flat concert is because some saxophonists understand it when they hear D sharp concert and some other saxophonists understand it better when they hear E flat concert. But that way it will be wise to know that when we say D sharp or E flat, we're talking about the same thing. And for this phrase, this very phrase or leak, you have to head over to the introduction in our previous video where you'll be able to hear this phrase or leak. All we need from you right now is to hit that subscribe button, you like, and don't forget to share this video. And like I always say, don't forget to share to family and friends so that every saxophonist out there that needs to watch and learn from this video will be able to reach this video. Now for our next saxophone tutorial, we will be posting the introduction to phrases and legs type 9. This calls for a round of applause guys. But for you to be able to reach this video, I need you to hit that notification bell so that whenever we post this video, you get notified. You can come over, watch, learn, relax, and also enjoy yourselves. So right now, it's a goodbye from Moclef Music.